Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and this is my 24 hours with Microsoft Windows 10. Hello guys, this is Eric again from Easy Computer Solutions and I've been hanging around with Windows 10 for the last 24 hours and I want to give you my initial impressions of it uh, once I got everything synced up I ran into some problems with one drive uh, and right now I still am running into some, to some problems with one drive um, I love one drive it's integrated in with, with Windows 8 but uh, when Windows 10 came out all my one drive files are here but what happened was, uh, now all your OneDrive files are synced to your PC. Well, before, with Windows 8.1, you was able to take and only have your files online. So it won't take up any of your hard drive. But unfortunately, I've been having a lot of problems with uh, my OneDrive on Windows 10. So. For example, I deleted it. I, I, actually, I went on there and, and I kind of went here and, and you can right click. Just say if I went to my Android and this right here, it's a choose OneDrive folder to sync. So what I did was, and I click here. And so right here, sync your OneDrive files to this PC. Okay, if I uncheck everything here and hit OK it's it's going to remove all my files and the only way I can recover this and, and the way I did this was after I removed all the files I went to the trash can the recycle bin and I recovered it and so that was one of the issues I found uh, in my initial impressions uh, but I know it's a workaround I just haven't had time to do it Again, this is my first 24 hours, but I mean, it took I me mean, right now, it's taking about 15 gigs of my hard drive space just to sync all my OneDrive files to my PC, which is kind of bad. All right, so next thing I found is right here for Katana. Uh, she's helpful um, and it works out. She's worked real good. Uh, so here with Cortana, what you do is you hit the microphone and you ask Cortana a question. What's today's weather? Something went wrong. Try again a little bit. Hmm. And I've been kind of having this problem all day today. It's been kind of hit and miss. My Wi-Fi is very strong. Um, so it definitely got some bugs going on here uh, that need to be fixed. And I'm quite sure Microsoft is going to send out a lot of updates in the next couple of weeks. Uh, well, here is the return of the start menu. And it was tricky for me in, in the beginning because now it has all your contacts here and everything. You have all your live tiles and stuff like that. But I ran into some issues under settings. If you hit settings, okay, it gives you some settings here. But when I updated this machine here, to Windows 10 I lost all my printer drivers uh, and none of my printers would work uh, I have two printers two wireless printers and it didn't work and unfortunately when I press devices it showed errors see right there I have a Canon error uh, Canon offline uh, so I got my Lexmark then I have another Lexmark here driver is unavailable so these are some of the things I was running into today. None of my printers would work. Uh, so I had to download the new Lexmark. I had to download all the software. I had to I had to go online and find and download everything and do a complete refresh. So what I'm gonna do here with this copy, I'm gonna uninstall it. And that brings me to another one. Okay, so how would I get to my uninstall apps? That was another issue that I found. So right now, it's no way that I could get into my uninstall apps. 
but I had to go here and I had to type it right there so that's where you do your add and remove programs which you know it's a little tedious I'm quite sure it's a workaround at this time again 24 hours in it I was having some problems with it and uh, so again when I first and even that with this cleanup I mean I, it took me a while to find it I, I just had to search for it and it's kind of troublesome and it's always a workaround and I found a workaround is going to the C drive uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that let's go to the C drive here right click on it go to properties and they got this cleaned up right there but if you're not a a tech guru and, and stuff like that and, and you want to clean your PC real quick then you'll run into a problem now while we here let's talk about this here okay I'm using 108 gigs on my Windows 8.1 I was using uh, maybe 60 70 gigs I'm using over 100 gigs and this is the one drive problem that I have right now again uh, at Windows 8.1 I wasn't having this problem. I was able to not sync my files on my PC. I was able to sync my files to the cloud on OneDrive. And if I need to retrieve that information while I'm online, I was able to do it. But it, it, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to find a workaround on this one. So, I mean, to me, this was a big issue because right now, for the 256 gig SSD that I have in my Surface Pro, I'm using 100 gigs and it's at least, you know, 40 of the gigs of one drive space. And, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things that uh, uh, we have to find out a way to fix that. Alright, so the navigation is pretty pretty cool. Don't have no problems with that. Uh, but here, you know, this I, it took me a while to find this information. And uh, yeah, I could have watched a video or tutorial, but an end user that's going to update to Windows 10, this is what you're going to have. So let's go back here. And again, the, the, the user interface is, is pretty simple. It's pretty neat. Again, I didn't realize that, that once you update to Windows 10, I had a lot of things that didn't work. I mean, my Bluetooth speaker didn't work. Uh, my printer's, actually, my printer's still not working properly. Uh, I still have some issues here and there, and some. Uh, I, it stuttered on me for a while, and I had one. I had, had it crash on me this morning. So we have some issues here. I'm not. You know, I was all excited getting it and everything, and we, we updated. But Windows have some issues, and they have to work on some stuff here. Again, you know, stay tuned. To Easy Computer Solutions. I'm gonna give you all the tea on everything. But uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, when you go to update security um, and they have check for updates and it's going to be automatic updates you can put that uh, automatic updates by going to the advanced options uh, you got your backup, your windows defender backup, recovery, activation and for developers uh, so some of these options here can help you out a little bit um, so let's get out of here now, listen, I had another problem that I ran into is that uh, wow? Where was it? Uh, system. All right. So tablet mode. Okay. Now I have a Surface Pro three. Okay. Now if you have a tablet that with a this detachable keyboard, or you have a tablet, if you put this on, something really weird happens. It gets you the tile interface. Okay. So I put this on tablet mode. Okay. Now, and this is weird now I put you in the towel the metro towel okay now I did that and I, I, I was stuck I was like okay let me get back let me get back unfortunately you sit here like okay I can't get back I can't get back and I tried this for a long time to hit the back key nothing nothing and here if you click the windows key it gets you back to the tablet mode huh but at first earlier today it didn't do that so just be careful if you go into settings and you go into uh, system and the tablet mode. If you click on on, this is what happens. So now it's in the touch screen interface. And, and since I got the Surface Pro, it doesn't matter if I use the desktop mode or this mode. 
but this was weird. Uh, you know, this is something that uh, I got to get used to. But again, if you hit that, it brings you back to the, uh, to, and that's the Windows key. So, you know, it's kind of something to get used to. And then just turn it off and get back. And now if you hit the Windows key, you're back to where you was. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you run into some issues like that, that this is what's going to happen. Um, so let's go into notifications. Okay, so you have all kinds of show me tips about Windows. And that what happens is you go get a lot of notifications. We're going to talk about notifications a bit. And show app notifications, show notifications on lock screen, show loans, reminders, and upcoming VoIP calls. That's sweet. Uh, so, and then you can do all kinds of stuff. You can turn these things off. Now, right here in the corner over here, you got what's called new notification. So, if you click that, you get all your notifications, all your notifications, okay? And that, that's nice, beautiful. You can you, know, you go into tablet mode here. You can do all kinds of things. It's just nice, it's neat. You could do quiet hours and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's so the charms bar over here, remember the charms bar? And over here, it, it brings up another menu. All that's gone. And y'all, you have, have all kinds of stuff here multitasking, power saving, storage. And this is, again, going to your storage. And see, that's what I'm talking about. If you notice that, it's a little stutter, little stutter with Windows 8. And, you know, I, I'm using a whole lot of uh, space here. And I'm telling you, at least 40 gigs of it is my OneDrive. I know I'm beating that like a dead horse, but I tell you what, it's, it's something that I got to find out what's going on. And then I got uh, external hard drive. This is my micro SD card here, which is a 64 gig, well, 59 gigs available. But uh, yeah, this is my external um, storage. And I'm using 65 gigs. Well, you know, I mean, I have a lot of stuff on it. But this is what I'm talking about. You know, Windows 10 give you a little stutter here and there. And uh, you go to your display. Now, I have a monitor, external monitor, and I had problems with that also. Um, so, you know, I would tell you that uh, be patient with Windows 10. Um, and uh, Microsoft is going to send out a lot of updates, uh, hopefully soon. But, yeah, I mean, everything else works. But uh, you will definitely have problems with... Uh, with some, some issues here and there. Uh, now, you know, so just be patient. And you know, everything else is pretty cool. I mean, Cortana, she's hit and miss. I mean, she's worked sometimes, she don't. Let's try again. What's the weather like today? See, it's just that, it, this, it's not too polished. It's not, it's not working right. Let's try again. What's the weather like today? The forecast shows hardly sunny skies with a high of 92 and a low of 76. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's it's just every now and then, she just didn't work too well today. Uh, but other than that, keep it locked to Easy Computer Solution. This is Eric. I'm going to keep you up to date on everything tech. Subscribe to my channel, share my channel, uh, and like my channel. Thank you very much. See you on the next video. Peace.